The whole idea behind a multi-page document like this is matters of consistency. And what I mean by that is when I scroll through this, you'll notice our GI Joe logo never changes. The page numbers are always in the bottom right corner. My previous and next buttons are in the same location. This divider line, the titles, the bios, everything is pretty smooth. So your eye is not jumping all over the place. We also have their file cards. And you'll notice every page has that file card near the bottom. So to be consistent, I'm gonna take this one, click, never on the center, click, edit, copy, then I'm going to scroll up to the previous page, click, so InDesign knows I'm on this page, edit, paste in place. Okay, I know that's not his card, but I don't care about that. I want it placed in the same location. So I'm going to do that on every page. Click, paste in place, scroll up, click, paste in place. Scroll up, click, edit, paste in place. Now I have a picture frame with a graphic in it. I'm just gonna hit Command D and go get the correct graphic. So there in chapter 11, folder one, interactive, I'll go to my uh, complete folder and this guy's name is Beachhead. So let's go here to his FC file card and I'll open that. We just switch out the graphic right there. Okay, let's scroll down and do the same for these guys. Click, Command D, go down to his folder which will be Duke. There's his file card. We'll switch that one out. Let's scroll down. This guy's name is Flint, not Scarlet. So I'll click, Command D for a document. We'll come back down to my folder and go to Flint. Let's pick his FC file card. There we go. And we'll do the last one here, Gung Ho. Click, Command D for a document. Let's bring this back in to Gung Ho, his file card. A lot of prep takes place before I ever go into InDesign. And there's my file cards. I did the same thing for all these other pages. I'm not, I'm just not going to go through that over and over and over again, but you get the idea. Okay, so now we have all those. What I also need is object states. Okay, I have them on these pages, but I want to make them starting on these pages. Okay, how do I get that to work? So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we make an object state. So to prepare for that, I'm just gonna come up to the top and make one more brand new blank layer. Let's double click the name and we'll call that object state and I'll click okay. All right, next video, how to add object states. We'll do that in a minute.